This is the view already beautiful and we're still in the port. They still share. They're so nice. They still share. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Good morning from a very busy port in Padang. Today I'm about to do something that could be amazing, could be terrifying. I'm a little bit scared. And that's because today I'm heading to the Mentawai Islands. Now the Mentawai Islands are known as the best place to surf in Indonesia, but I'm not doing that. And that's because I tried it once in Nicaragua. Not for me, I'm not very good at that. But a lot of people come here, especially Australians, to go surfing, a lot of surf holidays there. But I'm bypassing the gorgeous beaches and actually heading into the jungle. And that's because I'm about to spend the next four nights with a Mentawai family. They are an indigenous group on the island. The islands, there are about 150 islands and islets, I think. Our, I think our boat is here. We're going to try to grab breakfast, but I'm going to see. This is going to be an interesting trip for me because I said during 2020 that if I ever had the opportunity to travel again, I would take any opportunity I had. So Mentaway Islands were not on my list, but Ronnie told me he had a group of six women from Indonesia, Singapore, Taiwan, Philippines, and he asked me if I wanted to join. And so I said yes. All right, so this is going to be a two ferry trip. The first one is three hours. The second one is about an hour and a half. And right now it's 350,000. All right, so I didn't expect this to be the ferry. I thought it might be bigger. Okay, we just walked through one boat to get to another. All right, some confusion when you get in. There is a signed seating, so look on your ticket. I love assigned seating, there's no arguing and people aren't rushing to get on. But there's a little bit of confusion as people didn't know. So you can see right here, I'm 1A, which is a window seat. Not much to see just yet. Oh, I think we're taking off. Or you can also stay upstairs, which has lots of fresh air, no AC, also no assigned seating. Gotta be honest, sitting on these benches for three hours does not sound like a good idea. This is the view, already beautiful, and we're still in the port. but it gets a little bit too windy. There's nowhere to sit. And then the second level, which has the benches, I thought would be very uncomfortable to sit, but actually the air conditioning spot is really wavy. So if you get seasick, it's not helpful. So this is the best spot to sit. A little bit windy, which is good. Nice, fresh air. Okay, so I left upstairs. I enjoyed that fresh air, but not much to do and so I came back into the cabin air conditioned it's actually good to bring a jacket and if you get seasick you might not want to read or watch TV but they do have some movies they just finished a Bollywood movie and now there's some kind of weird war movie going on I think we have about an hour left so I'm starting to get hungry there are people on here who uh, sell things so you can get some chips and cookies and things like that but I'm gonna try to wait until lunch so when we stop here apparently everyone gets off the ferry everyone goes has lunch at the same place and then we get back on to another ferry for an hour and a half Quick stop, we've got some chicken rendang, veggies, too much rice, and then fresh edamame, which I've never seen before when it wasn't frozen. <laughs> kind of tastes like it too, though. Well, for those who 
those that have eaten with me in Indonesia, they know I don't eat rice and I ate all of it. When you're hungry, rice is delicious. So when you come in, there are a number of places that you can eat. We went all the way to the end. It was pretty good. All right, so first half of this boat ride, this ferry ride to the Mentaway Islands has been pretty uneventful. Sat up top, sat in the middle, sat down below, watched a movie. And then when we arrived here, this is like a transportation stop. They bring in things from Padang and uh, everyone gets off, they get lunch. And then as soon as you hear the horn, it's time to get back on. Uh, it was really nice actually traveling with this group because we have three vegetarians and they had all of these different like Chinese vegetarians vegetarian things. I had some pickled kohlrabi, some other things that I had never had before. There was this paste that tastes like olive, which is fantastic. They bring their own food because they know they're probably not going to have a lot of vegetarian options and they still share. They're so nice. They still share. Oh, man, am I ever happy to be off that boat. For the second half, I had a good chat with Ben, an Australian who came here to surf, but last half hour, I was not feeling it. My stomach was just, seasickness was starting to kick in. So happy to be on this part. It's humid here, so, so humid, but sun is out, it's not raining. So fingers crossed, because we have a bike ride and then an hour walking. Whew. All right, it's a little bit crazy. Oh, because we're getting off, but in half an hour, the ferry is taking all of this stuff back on. So lots of people bringing goods and also people to get back on the ferry. bumpy back of a truck ride and we are one step closer so we've stopped off at a spot to pick up some rubber boots not everyone has one i got this hat at the Bukatingi second hand market for 250 pretty snazzy and then also i got a pair of boots there they wanted 80 i paid 70 i heard they are 60 but i got them in advance which is great because they have a number of boots here but i don't know if they have tons so maybe if everyone's size seven and you're the last person to choose you're out of luck it's hot here. So the nice thing is this is a general store. I also picked up extra bug repellent. It's like a special night one. So I feel like it will be stronger. And I think we're gonna go for some tea. Now, the nice thing walking right now is everything looks very dry. So after we're gonna stop, have some tea, talk about the day, and then we're going to take a boat and then we're gonna walk for an hour. It's a very long kind of travel day, but if you wanna get out into the remote areas, that's what it requires. The ferry that brought us over, that was like five hours. They told me that it used to be 11 hours. A bigger boat, but 11 hours. I would not wanna do that. And I don't think I mentioned this, but at this point onward, we have no access to internet. So uh, there was a little bit at the port, but otherwise no data, no Wi-Fi. We are offline for four nights. So everywhere you go, you do need to check in. And that's because it's just an easier way. If something should happen, they know the last spot that you were at. You know, as someone who makes their living online, not being online makes me a little uneasy, but also we're not gonna have electricity. So I had to really think about what I was going to bring because it all has to go on my back. And then also how would I sustain power to shoot all of this over the next four nights? So I have two battery packs packs, uh, lots of batteries, fully charged everything. And then I'm just going to have to be very thoughtful about what I shoot. So instead of shooting everything, you know, burning through my batteries, I have to think about it. But since we're not online, you know, I should be able to shoot quite a bit with my phone because that's the only reason I will use my phone is for photos and video. 
have to be honest, when Ronnie told us we were gonna walk to this house for tea, I thought, oh, it's probably just around the corner. I said, grab your things, we'll just take it all there. I didn't know. I think we're gonna walk a couple of kilometers. And it's already made me feel like I packed too much in my backpack. I packed my drone, which took up half of it. And then the two power banks are also very heavy. I didn't bring a lot of clothes. So I hope all of you really enjoy this video because it's heavy to make this video. So just to show the diversity of durian, last week I tried two different kinds. Some were sweet, a little bit more creamy, but then here uh, we were greeted with rambutan and then also this durian and it's called tuk tuk. And so Aman Ogus went to get it. It looks totally different than the other durian. It has like these spikes and to try it. It tastes more like the white creamy ones. I actually prefer the, the bright yellow fruity. This is like a, definitely kind of on the creamy side. It's good to try though, it just shows you. If you don't like one durian, you should try another. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Why are you mm. putting the oh you're just holding that? No no no. Oh right, just <laughs> putting that. <laughs> Mmm, mm -hmm. it's really good. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Manana, Manana. Mm.
So now we have about a one hour walk to where we're going. It's 5.30 I think, it's just dusk. <laughs> so we're probably gonna arrive in the dark. It's our main yeah. jungle. Amazing. If I had come in here with my running shoes, I would have been very sad. <laughs> oh, that's why you forgot them. Oh, we need to cross the river. It looks maybe like it's okay, but I've got... Oh no, I've got short rain boots. No way. This. It looks deeper than my boots are high. <laughs> oh yeah, looks deep. Oh, she's just like, whatever, I'm going down. <laughs> this is like the most complicated river crossing I've seen. They decided they needed to build a little bridge for us, so they're bringing out some small logs. Oh, that's so nice. Usually they have, but maybe because it's raining. Oh, they, just... they probably washed away. All right, good morning. I did not film anything after it started to get dark, simply because you couldn't see anything, but actually that was the most eventful part of the day. So it got dark and basically what you do to get through is because it rains during the day, it gets really muddy and you walk on planks and uh, thin logs that they've put throughout the route. But <laughs> you have to have really great balance and sometimes to the side, the ground will look like like it's dry but it's not and so I would say five or six times I fell through the mud up well past my knee couldn't get my leg out uh, a couple times Ronnie helped me uh, and I was able to get myself and the boot out and sometimes we had to leave the boot and he dug it out for me so like so much thanks to him for that that one hour walk took us about two hours now the plan is not to go in the dark but because we had that issue with the boat we were just late so when we arrived I was I was drenched in sweat, I was tired, I was frustrated, but I kept reminding myself, you know, I wanted an adventure, I wanted to do something different, and that's exactly what this was. It was satisfying to finish, but also very exhausting. And so when we arrived here, everyone, I think there were like 20 people here. So there was the family and then also extended from people who had walked one hour, two hours for us to come see us. And so it was really beautiful when they, we came in and everyone was saying Aloita or hello and welcoming us also in the dark because there's no electricity here. So a lot of people had headlamps on and we had some lights, but also in the dark made dinner and it was just really, really lovely. So challenging, fulfilling, really beautiful to talk to people and uh, I have three more nights here. So I'm gonna end this video here because I think that was quite an eventful day, but as I said, I have three more nights. It's raining this morning and it's probably gonna rain over the next few days, but we're not gonna have the same kind of hike that we had yesterday. And I think we're gonna do some really interesting things. I am very interested in the mental white culture, the modern culture, as well as the traditional culture. Like how are they faring now uh, over generations? I heard a little bit of it last Last night talking to people about their kids um, but really interested in hearing you know is this a disappearing culture is this something that won't exist in in the next generation or how does it evolve so I hope you join me the next video should be really interesting join my patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere you can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.